It is April 28th on Friday, and the temperatures are slowly warming up here in the western North Carolina mountains. So I'd like to just walk you through my container garden and show you what's growing. This is the green stock system, and I have some pockets on here that I've left empty so that I can plant some more things here in the next week. However, I have already planted out a lot of different lettuces and other leafy greens, such as Swiss chard. Of course, a lot of spinach. I probably have about six pockets of spinach, and I think I've planted those in February. This is fennel. I'm going to try that in the green stock system this year and see how it does. Everything always seems to grow very well and I'll leave a link to where I reviewed this system if you'd like to check it out. Now this is chervil here which is like a French parsley and I planted this last fall and it survived the winter fine through a lot of snow but it is not liking the warming of the temperature so it's bolting right away so I'll pull that plant out I already have some other planted anyway and in my hanging basket I planted one nasturtium and then this is a cute little sign I bought last year it says gardeners like to spend all day in their beds that's what we like, our little raised garden beds. That's where we want to spend our time, right? <laughs> anyway, so let me go ahead and show you some of the plants here on the left. Um, I have some asparagus that I'm growing. I will be moving that out to the river garden. And then I have the dill here. It's doing well. I'm growing little scallions in just about all of my herb containers. This is the African blue basil that I mentioned in an earlier video that is one of the best plants that you can put in your garden to attract bees and other pollinators. And so it must be grown from a cutting. So I'm going to let this plant get a little bit more healthy. And I plan to take about three or four cuttings from it, hopefully in June. And I'll propagate that and move those plants into my native garden soil. So that will help with pollination of a lot of my uh, squash and cucumber plants. And right here I have some parsley that I had started in January. I moved that out for you in an earlier video. This is my French tarragon. Um, this is another one of those plants that must be grown from division or a cutting. Both the African blue basil and the French tarragon produce what are called sterile seeds, so you can't grow them from seeds. And then here I have my chives in the middle along with some scallions around the outside edges and I think I stuck a little Brussels sprout plant in there or something I have to pull it out sometimes I just can't bear to throw away my little seedlings and so I just stick them in a pot somewhere <laughs> but it will have to go so and here are some more scallions the scallions of course I started these indoors and I transplanted those out for you in my last herb container video. I went ahead, I moved out my basil. If we happen to have a freeze come through, which is sometimes does happen in my area at this time of year, I can move this container inside because it will not be able to live through a freeze. The basil is very frost sensitive. So I have two Siam Queen plants in here along with a large leaf basil. Apparently where I live, it actually snowed on Mother's Day one year. So someone told me that when I moved here. I was trying to find out, you know, when to plant things out and that kind of thing. And so even though my frost date is really in late April, a lot of the farmers do not move out their plants until after Mother's Day. So I kind of try to follow what the farmers do. They know what they're doing, right? So here in the front, I have another one of the chervil plants that I mentioned. Um, little scallions in there too. And then behind that, I have a calamondon plant, which is producing the little fruit. And then this is a watercress. I stuck one of my watercress plants out here. It likes the cooler temperatures. So I like to put this in the shade of the fountain so that it doesn't receive full sun all day long. But I need to make sure that I keep watering in it because it will lose water more quickly when it's outdoors than when I'm growing it indoors which I showed you that earlier so on the other side here I have golden sage along with my chives which are bursting into bloom here and then my Greek oregano is greening up nicely along with behind that I have my cilantro which I planted about a month ago and I will do another planting here soon I like to succession plant that so that I can always have fresh cilantro leaves. These are some green onions that I planted in February. Uh, my thyme is greening up really nice and the apple mint is just taking off. We've had a lot of rain lately. We've probably got about 
four or five inches in the last two weeks so that's great and then the rosemary and then over here in the corner are my peppers and tomatoes and a lot of these I will be moving out within the next week so most of all of these are frost sensitive so I'm keeping my eye on them and on the weather report and then down in my native soil garden everything's looking really nice I'm enjoying this time of year and I hope you guys are too and if you haven't already make sure that you click that little bell off to the right of the subscribe button so that you'll receive all notifications for my channel well thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to help you just leave them down below the video in the comment section again thanks for watching and y'all have a beautiful day